welcome to Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Today is March 26th, 2019. Um, a nice question that came um, uh, by one of our participants. Uh, one, what is consciousness and how do we rise it? So uh, it's the loaded question, and I'm going to try to answer it to the best of my ability. Um, basically, um, consciousness is all there is. Every, everything is consciousness. Everything is a part of the totality, anything in totality, anything that, um, whether it's an underlying uh, of things or things that you can um, come in contact, whether you're, it's a part of your imagination, it's your thoughts, your feelings, it's your body, objects that you can see and encounter, um, anything that exists is consciousness. Consciousness is all there is. There is nothing outside of consciousness. Everything is consciousness. You can imagine, if you need a visual imagination of consciousness, and this is how you can look at it, that um, let's imagine the ocean, that there's only the ocean. And no, there is, there is no beaches, there's no land, uh, no mountains, no trees or vegetations, nothing that you can compare or as a contrast to the water. The water, the ocean is all there is. That's the only thing exists, okay? So we'll just imagine that for a moment then you can compare that to have a visual regarding consciousness. Consciousness is all there is. Everything that you see, you touch, you smell, you feel, you can imagine is a part of consciousness. It is consciousness. So the second part of this question um, the question was, what is con consciousness and um, how do we rise it? How do we lift it up? So we are part of the consciousness since it's in everything and everywhere. So then consciousness, it's got the ability of taking different forms and shapes and looks and different acts and behaviors. It can be anything it wants to be, anything that you can imagine or has ever existed or will exist is consciousness. It can come as human beings, as animals, as vegetation, um, in any way and, and form that you can imagine Consciousness can appear as that. It can be as a good person, as a bad person. It can be Mother Mary. It can be a murderer. It's in everything. So, and it's beyond the good and the bad. It's beyond the morality. Uh, it's beyond religion. It's beyond any kind of duality. It's the underlying layer of everything have ever existed and will ever exist. So if we get this part of it cleared, um, because the mind has a difficult time imagining um, infinity, imagining something so vast, because the vastness of consciousness 
surpasses the limitation of the mind. So for the mind, it's very difficult to imagine that. So getting, getting that part, at least giving you an idea, something that because the mind would like to visualize. A uh, human mind doesn't have, does not have the ability to perceive and imagine infinity. Infinity, infinite, it keeps going and going and going from every direction when something is infinite. And the human mind cannot imagine that. It's beyond its imagination. But this gives you an idea that what, what is consciousness. Another way we can put it is the consciousness is the very intelligence that exists in the fabric of everything. Everything that exists requires a, an intelligence within it. So this intelligence is everywhere in every single thing. From good and bad, it doesn't matter. So it's all a part of the same thing. So now the, come to the other part of this uh, subject is how do we rise consciousness? But basically, what our friend is referring to is uh, not how to raise consciousness in a matter of if consciousness needs any kind of uplifting because consciousness is beyond that to be lifted or not. Um, but we're talking about how I would imagine uh, we can rise our own awareness, our own consciousness, our ability to be aware or the consciousness of the planet. I think that's what he's referring to, but let's ask. Is that right, Raphael? That's what you're referring to, that's correct? Yes. How, how you can raise your own consciousness, how you can be more aware, correct? Yes, it is correct. All right, so that, that's the main thing, number one, is always starts with, with ourselves, how can I be more aware? And then ultimately is how could the planet and the human race to be more aware? I mean, that's the part we're, we are, we're interested in. So the rest of it, the rest of the universe is not much of a, as of our concern because that's not something we're dealing with on a um, practical way. So basically, how do I ra raise my own awareness, my consciousness to higher levels? And in order to do that is... The conventional way of the belief system is that I will be reading books, I will be studying uh, different kind of uh, philosophy or religion or, or mysticism, go to the mystical schools and, and uh, work on myself to raise my awareness. Uh, to a higher level.